Hi everybody, it's Roxanne, Earth 1111. I want to talk today about the great solar flash. Everything is interconnected, okay? So everything happens simultaneously. So who's to say the solar flash isn't going to happen when we get to that level and instantaneously at the same time, more light is on the planet. Hey, it's Roxanne, Earth 1111. I talk about all different topics of ascension, awakening, mind-blowing things. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and share the video. Thank you so much. I want to talk about the great solar flash today. Now, of course, people have been talking about this nonstop. I've been hearing about this since I first woke up, like ascending woke up back over about 15, 20 years ago. So this is nothing new. Now, what the way I see it, is it's kind of a cop-out to not actually get yourself to the level in this now moment of ascension. The great solar flash is actually linked to us expanding to that level. We're not waiting for any future anything. Anyone that tells you that hasn't done the work. I'll keep saying that, right? Because we, in this moment, right now, can get to those higher timelines. We're not waiting for the sun to do anything. Those of us that have really worked for many years can reach these higher levels, we are literally bringing that energy down. Well, it's really coming from our inside or heart, right? Because your center point, the exact center core of you is really that channel of source, right? That is source. Source isn't up here. Source is in every quantum particle of you. It is you, right? You are so powerful and this is why the whole world will constantly try to tell you you're not. So ascension is about us expanding ourselves to new levels in this now moment. We're never waiting for some future time, right? Which is why people that get stuck in this loop of waiting for the great solar flash to show up and everything is going to be perfect, right? The aliens are going to show up and everyone's just going to go on their ships and everything will just work out or half the people will be dead in the world. And it's not going to happen that way. And I've said this quite a few times on my channel, but it's about us reaching that level. And that's why I keep saying the great solar flash is never about one flash. It's about systematic leveling up, right? Which is also systematic leveling inward. This is, this is the great solar flash right here, the center of you, where you have that creator force within you. You birth universes every moment. You are so powerful, so know that we're never waiting for one future great solar flash. And aliens aren't coming down to save the day. We are the higher beings. We are merging with our galactic aspects. We are merging with our angelic aspects. We are merging with suns and universes and galaxies. Well, suns, galaxies, universes, that way. <laughs> um, it's us merging. That's what ascension is. And that's really what the great solar flash is. It's about you becoming solar embodied. It's a flash within. And you start coming from that zero point. You are literally detaching yourself from the game, playing out here, duality, and you come from zero time. And then you become a co-creator with the universe. Then life really gets amazing. Yes, it involves mastery 24 seven, but that is really what it is. And, and you observe it as an explosion, right? As going through tunnels, going through spirals, you observe it internally. You can feel it. You are a buzzing frequency. You are like plugged in permanently. So essentially you have become detached from the lower realms and instead you are a torus field. So it's almost like this trampoline bouncing feeling like you're hovering like you've lost gravity. So, so for a while you will feel like you're completely, you know, going sideways, but eventually you'll feel like you, this, just this vibration. And so then that is the great solar flash from within. Now you start seeing sacred geometries, you start seeing spirals, you start seeing grids and all different types of fields and fractals. So you start seeing plasma because you're coming from the plasma fields of the, of the etheric field because you have embodied that. So now you're coming from a higher expression. 
So that is what the great solar flash is. It's, it's an internal flash. And the more of us that are always bringing up, so once you reach these higher levels and you, and you embody them, now you are in a permanent state of higher frequency. So the great solar flash is happening level by level because a lot of us have reached extreme levels and we're just constantly channeling all this energy, this high frequency energy into the planet and into the lower realms. So it's really about you activating your own internal solar body, right? You unify into zero point. That's the great solar flash. It's never gonna be something coming down the pipe in linear time, we're not linear. We're quantum, we exist in no time, vertically. Time is when you're going forward in the horizontal grids. These are the lowest realms of the earth realm, right? The, the telluric field, now, up and down is really expansion and contraction because we're not going anywhere. We're just amplifying and reaching higher levels and anchoring them into this now moment. The zero point, that is the key. That is the great solar flash. And the more of us that are bringing down these high powered energies, again, again coming from the inner core of us, the zero point of us, that's, that's where source is in all of us. So once you reach that level, you can birth universes, you can birth new timelines for this planet. That's how amazing it is to be a gatekeeper. So once we embody, now we are solar embodied. So once that Kundalini ascension process has begun, it continues. So it's a, a, a journey that you really can't stop. Yes, you can slow it down by kind of, you know, doing the opposite of what you should be doing, but then you go into suffering and you know, when your physical body ascension symptoms increase and life gets into chaos. So it really, once that's begun, so once you reach a certain level, then things will, will naturally happen. Yes, we, we do need to follow that inner guidance. We do need to take that action when we're guided to, to do something, right? To change something about our life. So it's never about, oh, I'll just sit in meditation for 10 hours a day and hope the world was perfect. Yeah, it's amazing. Trust me, I did this myself for quite a few years. I'm talking like going into a complete journey um, for like six, seven hours, like waking up in the, I'm in the woods and all of a sudden it's dark, right? <laughs> Being out there so long. And, but when you're in that, you're in that frequency. The key is becoming that frequency as your permanent vibe all day long because what would happen is as soon as i would come out of that right and i'd come out of the woods and i'd be feeling amazing i'd come back home and back into kind of more more reality right around other people or if, you know with all my my things in my life to do and you would drop out of that frequency again so i could never quite hold the frequency right and then you'd be feeling all the negative energies and things like that so it really is about you maintaining that frequency in this now moment, which is, again, get your frequency up, do your inner trauma healing, love yourself, purify the physical body, right? There's just so many different things we can do. Start, start watching your thoughts and having more positive thoughts, literally believing that you are gonna actually have an amazing life and not be in fear about all the stuff going on out there. This is why they are constantly at us 24 hours a day trying to act like the world's over because that's what they want you to manifest so you literally have to come from that place it's not about waiting for anything it's about you aligning yourself with that energy that frequency right and of course it's about getting your frequency up it's about purifying the physical body about being in the heart being in that neutral space not reacting to everything and when you do react know that that's a trauma that something stuck in you that is triggered by something. When we start doing our own work by doing our healing, right? Healing our, all these traumas, we can call these ego aspects, but really it's parts of us that are just stuck consciousnesses in a loop. When we can heal that, that's another piece coming back into the puzzle and we continue, right? We never get stuck in any one level, waiting for anyone or anything to happen. You can literally be existing in a higher frequency right now. It, it just takes a little bit of work, right? It takes those 
daily tweaks to your life. It takes practices. It takes loving yourself and getting yourself into a higher frequency, right? So think of the great solar flash as being an internal process that once you reach that level of internal alignment, boom, there, there goes the sun portal. It's open, right? Constantly bringing down, down energy for you to anchor into the lower realms. So it's all about you. We're never waiting for anything, right? Whenever you hear that, know that that is someone that is talking about something they don't really have a whole perspective of. Right? And it creates a lot of drama. It creates a lot of fear in people. And it also makes a lot of people just sit and wait. We're never in sit and wait time. Okay? Ever. Right now, it's time to do your work. Because if, the, if some huge energy came in, right? We've had quite a few huge energies in the past few months come in. And if the more density that you're holding on to, right? The more traumas you have in your body, the more toxins, the more that you're existing in these lower realms, lower frequencies, it's painful. It's not fun, right? You, you'll feel emotion coming out. You will feel sick. You'll have ascension symptoms. You know, you will have heart palpitations. It can get scary. I've been there. So it's not about just hanging out and waiting because if big energies do come in, which again, right? Energies are still increasing. We're not going to all of a sudden stop these energies. The whole point is we're never waiting for some great flash. And when it does happen, it's going to happen because all of a sudden a huge majority of people in the world have reached that level. They're instantaneously reaching those higher levels by bringing in higher levels into their frequency. Now, guess what? It up levels the whole planet. And guess what? When we're at these levels, these stages, we're more powerful than millions of people that are in a lower realm. Because when you're in a lower realm, you're not very powerful. Your field is very weak. And it's also chaotic and scattered. When you have every one of your particle quantum aspects spinning in the exact same way, you create a huge force field. This is your ascension column, right? This is you expanding and embodying higher levels. So that's the plasma light body. Then things get crazy because now you start actually influencing and changing all the elements and what's going on out there above you. So you'll have a different sky above you. You will be able to clear clouds. You'll be able to get the sun out. You'll be able to influence elements because you are etheric plasma light body embodied. So Really what it becomes is you synced spirit into matter. So they are one big system. They're no longer separate fields. It's one unified field moving and shape-shifting. And then things get weird. Then you live in a permanent DMT state. So I've been like this since about 2015. Permanent, you know, just seeing reality breathing and grids and things just shape-shifting, right? You can actually see the particles of the plasma fields that are all around us. Really, this is those subtle fields that I talked about. When you tune yourself to subtle, more and more subtle energies, you're tuning yourself to higher frequencies, which is also you tuning yourself to the fabric of reality behind our physical reality. Because our physical reality is just our default, because we're in a 3D existence. And if this information resonates with you, consider taking my Stargate Ascension and Alchemy course. I have over 50 brand new videos, never before seen on YouTube. I go into depth on a lot of the stuff. So this and many more mind-blowing topics. So the links will be in the description below. Please share the video with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us also on earth1111.com, a brand new social media platform for all people like you. We'll see you there on earth1111.com. Thanks so much. I'm Roxanne. Bye-bye.